Kyle, uh, Josh, congratulations on the win. Uh, first game of pre-season here in Bodmin. Josh, if we start with you, a uh, hat-trick, if not four, for you tonight. How was that? Um, yeah, it's always nice to score. I mean, it's not as much about the result. It's more the lads getting a run out, being together on the pitch. Um, and yeah, some lads played 90 first game of pre-season, so credit to them. Um, some lads got 45, some lads got 60. So yeah, it's more about the run out. It's hard to see here. How many did you get? Uh, two should have had six probably but um, yeah more goals will come hopefully um, as training goes on um, get back to normal yeah scoring goals for this club is, is something you've done for a few years now but it's something Carl you're planning on doing more of going forward how is it to get your first as part of the first team group uh, this pre-season uh, it's, it was good it's nice to build that confidence the lads have helped me fit in really well so I see the quality that we've got and I always know that I'll score goals within this team so it was just nice to get off straight off the mark. You've been in around the, the first team training and everything for a little while now. Um, with sort of the squad getting bigger going into next season and everything, are you looking to impress and, and get involved more next year? Yeah, of course. Like I don't think any footballer sets out to be a filler within the squad. Everyone sets out to start and play games. That's always what I'm aiming and destined to do. But it's going to be tough. There's really tough competition, experienced lads, young lads with talent. So I've just got to bide my time, keep doing what I believe in I can do. And hopefully I'll pick, the gaffer picks me. Josh, what's it like to have somebody like Kyle in the group? I know it's hard for you to relate to what he brings to the game. You both bring goals, so maybe it's not. What's he been like around the first team group? Uh, yeah, he's um, come into the group, done well, done well in training. And I mean, you see it today, he's a handful. Um, Six foot ten should be playing basketball, but um, yeah, I mean, he's a handful. All you've got to do really is stand it up, and he'll produce goals for you. We can't be swearing on club channels, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> it's pre season, so I'll let you off. But when we get to a proper thing, you're not allowed to do that. Kyle, what was the um, the, the intention of tonight? What was the gaffer saying to you ahead of tonight? Was it about getting your, your minutes in, working hard, taking the opposition seriously? Because it, it looked like you guys were taking it seriously and playing the best you could. Yeah, of course, you, you, you're as good as what you're out there against. So you just got to try and keep your own levels, keep your own standard and kind of pass, pass teams by. I believe we can do that in any league, not just the opposition we had today. So we just got to keep our own standards and continue to do it. Just, just before I let you go, we've not spoken to you since you stayed at the club, extended your contract to you. Uh, the gaffer did exactly the same. How are you feeling after doing that? I imagine after a performance tonight, even though it's, it's raining here, uh, I was going to swear like you then, but I won't. Um, how is that feeling for you? Uh, yeah, buzzing to finally get over the line. It was something that was in the works for quite some time. Um, I mean, as soon as Gaffer told me and uh, called me and told me there's a possibility he could be staying, it was a no-brainer for me. Family's up here, they love it. Being up um, in Huddersfield, son goes to school there. So, yeah, it's definitely a no-brainer for me. Lads, congratulations and we'll, we'll catch up with you again before the start of the season, I'm sure.